Let me just um, say in closing just a few, a few remarks that build upon what my colleagues have, have suggested. Uh, Ted's earlier comment regarding the, the importance of character. It, if you look at those other 15 schools that we compete with in the Big East, as John pointed out, and you look at where we are and what we do, and as I mentioned, we offer more opportunity for students to participate in intercollegiate athletics than any other school in our conference. We're also among the most significant in the country in terms of opportunities that we provide. We believe so strongly as a part of the ethos of this place, the, what, what, what's all over this room, what we believe so deeply is this is an, an inextricable part of what it means to educate a young person, that for those who can continue to be a part of, a, of an a, intercollegiate athletic team at age 18, 19, 20, the impact that can have on their development, both of, of their undergraduate experience, but also in the formation of their character, we believe we want to provide those kinds of opportunities. And as Ted has pointed out, that en enabling those opportunities also provides all of us to enjoy the beauty, the, the grace, the experience of their competition and what that competition means for, for the spirit of this place. And so we go out and we try to bring in the very best young people. And you, you see one of them here with us today. Young women like Nora on our intercollegiate athletic teams. If you saw some of the 750 who, who represent us, who wear the blue and gray day in and day out on our courts and on our fields and our pools, these are some of the best young people in the world. They, they are Georgetown, and we want to provide them that opportunity. That, that weaving of character, though, then goes right to the, to the kind of experience that Lee is trying to ensure, that through his leadership and his working with our coaches, that in each and every experience we're providing the best possible context for them to develop themselves, both as coaches and as athletes, to the very best of their talents and abilities. We want to ensure that we have the very best people working with our coaches. And there's no one I'd rather have representing Georgetown than this, this, this gentleman right here. And it all comes together at the, at the highest levels of the university, where um, our board, our senior leadership, but also many of you who participate in Hoyas Unlimited and various sp support organizations, we build on an extraordinary history. And it's a history that has been built by uh, folks that you know and folks that we don't know. And we're all a part of a very special tradition. And it's been an honor this morning to share a little bit of that with you. Thank you for being here. We look forward to continuing to be able to read I'd like to thank, <coughs> excuse me, I'd like to thank President DeJoya and our panelists for their talent, their time, their insights, for sharing part of their Saturday morning with us. I think we should congratulate Nora. It sounds like you've got a job. <laughs> and I'd like to thank all of you for coming. I hope you will enjoy further stimulating academic seminars that showcase the best of Georgetown, the best of our faculty, and the best of our alumni later this afternoon. So thank you all. Thank you very much. <laughs>